The VO Meter. Measuring your voiceover progress. The VO Meter is brought to you by VoiceActorWebsites.com Vocal Booth to Go PodcastDemos.com Global Voice Acting Academy and IPDTL. And now, your hosts, Paul Stefano and Sean Daly. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the sneak peek of our upcoming episode on the VO Meter. We have decided, because of the embarrassment of riches we have of great guests and speakers, to bring you the interview portion in a sneak peek format before we release the full episode each month. Hopefully, it will give you an idea of what's to come in the new episode and whet your appetite, so to speak. So, without further ado, here's a sneak peek of our interview with voice actors and founders of the VO Weekly Workout, Brad Venable and Tim Friedlander. Well, Tim, you talked about uh, your workouts having the phone be checked at the door. You're talking yeah. about the, the in-person workouts at your studio, Soundbo- Soundbox Correct. LA, right? Let's talk Correct, a little yes. bit about that. How did you start the studio and... What kinds of uh, work do you do there? Um, man, you know, that was, that, stu- I, I started this place in direct response to the fact that I had no idea what the heck I was doing, and I was <laughs> failing at voiceover, and, you know, I, I, I basically am a great example of how to do everything wrong. <laughs> Get a demo. Make a demo made. Good. I'm done. Move to L.A. Great. Send out to agents. Great. Nobody picked me up. Okay, great. I got an agent. Well... You know, let me take another year. In a year, I'll send out that. And in in this year, I'm not going to study voiceover for that year. And let me take another couple years off from voiceover. And then I'll go out and try and get an agent. And then I'm going to wonder why the agents don't want to listen to what what I'm doing because I don't sound like me. And let's just isolate yourself and not talk to anybody and not know anything. And part of that is the fact that it's as overwhelming as it is. You pick up the voiceover resource guide or look for a list of coaches. There's, what, three, four, five pages of coaches? I who, who, they all look the same. I can't tell the difference between one coach or another. If you don't know anybody, don't have anybody to ask, don't have anybody to, to hear feedback on, you don't know. It's like, here, let me pick, pick, you know, I can't afford to go to every university I want to go to to find out which one I like. Exactly. So then you just don't go to any of them. So I didn't coach with anybody. I didn't study with anybody. I didn't train with anybody. Um, I would send out demos once a year and then wonder why I didn't hear back from anybody. <laughs> so, you know, talk about being passive. You know, I was doing all the wrong things. And, you know, I was, you know, I was hours away from quitting voiceover, and I decided to get out of bed and go to Voice 2014. And there I met a bunch of people who were, as I say, failing the way that I was failing. And all of a sudden I was like, well, wow. So I'm not an outlier here. I'm not completely, uh, you know, lost in what I'm doing. And I have a great opportunity. I have the space. So why don't I invite some people over, and we can all just kind of learn about voiceover together and we can maybe all fail together (laughs) and from there it kind of became a place that um i kind of have built around the community i built the studio was never supposed to be public it was supposed to be just a place where i you know do music and where i practice and 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 people came over and they needed opportunities or they needed a place to record well here you know let me come over let me you know you need this mic well okay you know i'll have this mic for you next time you come over and i guess you need this and we need this kind of connection oh you need isdn well let me look into isdn and see about this and it kind of grew around the needs of the community um and kind of became just you know i had this i had a place and i wanted to share it with people and not keep it to myself and it's grown into this into something way beyond anything I had ever thought it would be. And we actually, you know, kind of opened two satellite studios earlier this year, one in Studio City and one in Sherman Oaks. Um, where we're going to start, you know, possibility of, of offering workout groups at those locations as well at some point. I do three workout groups a week most of the time, um, two that I run myself and one that Jay Preston and I run together. And we don't, I don't advertise, it's all word of mouth. Um, uh-huh. And I just try and give people a place that feels safe and comfortable and you can come in and do the best work that you can do because it feels like being at home. That's amazing. So um, I'm sure Brad will agree with me on this. And we were just talking about how amazingly just generous and kind Mm -hmm. voiceover people are. I feel like Tim is an exceptionally kind VO person, (laughs) like like just a cut above because of all like, I mean, just this idea, like you're incredibly community minded and you're always thinking like, 
I don't need all of this stuff, but ha someone else does, and I would like to provide it. It's amazing. Yeah. Like, I mean, I even saw a post recently. He's like, I'm out of town this week. Anyone need my studios? Keys are in the box. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yep. Yep. The man does yeoman's work. I mean, to use an <laughs> antiquated term, but still, I mean, you know, it. it's just so wonderful to know that 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 whole story of this being the the most wonderful industry and everything i think some people they only scratch the surface when they understand that to mm -hmm. a degree because mm -hmm. we circle the wagons and we take care of our own we i mean do. yeah i don't i don't know of any industry especially an artistic one where a person gets an audition and goes you know what this is not for me but I know two other people that would be great for this. I do that all I mean, the time. Well, I've actually walked people yeah. to my agent. Well, I, should, I say walk, yeah. not not physically. But <laughs> just last week, there was one where I said, I have a colleague who would be better at this than me. You want to you yeah. hear from him and maybe sign him? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> so we did yep. it. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. And I like honestly, guys, thank you both so much. I mean, it's not it's not just about what you are getting out, what you put in. But, I mean, you guys have given so much. Uh, to the community and continue to do so on a daily, weekly basis. Just, just to circle back to the the workout, the, the weekly workout, Brad. What was uh, uh -huh. something that surprised you from one of those weekly workouts, either from the the presenter or the the guest director, or from a submission? Oh, I'll tell you what's been surprising, and it's it shouldn't be surprising. That's the the funny part. Is it? <laughs> I should have seen this. We should have all collectively seen it coming. Uh, but that is, there is so much varied types and level of verbosity, if you will, of feedback <laughs> that you get. Oh, yeah. Because some of <laughs> some of our most wonderful, you know, great coaches that we've gotten wonderful relationships with over the years, they will they'll sit back and they'll record live, like what we're doing here for the podcast. Mm -hmm. They'll record an audio version of what they have to say to any person that that participates in the workout then there are others who are extremely concise and and yep. waste no words and then yes. there are others who type long huge this is specifically what you did that i did like what you didn't like and here's how to improve it and mm -hmm. what's been the greatest thing, the greatest gift, I think, out of all of this, in, the, in all that variance of the kind of feedback that they have provided, is the insight into the industry as a whole, mm -hmm. as yes. the fact that there have been people, there are people who whose whole, you know, reason of existence is to give feedback and and lift others up and push them aside or to aside push them further in their careers and make them better actors then there are some who is like i am a business person and i'm going to give it to you straight and i'm going to give it to you yep. in a way that you may not like but you're going to hear something that you need to be more self-aware of and mm -hmm. then there are those who, you know, somewhere in between. I mean, that's an interesting yeah. bell curve as to how it all plots out. But that is something I think is a microcosm of the entire industry. And that mm -hmm. has been the most surprising thing for me is to see it actually unfold. Just have it yeah. have it taking place like that. It's been great. It's a yeah, wonderful absolutely. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I was mentioning before, just like working through Global Voice Acting Academy and all the coaches I've worked with and meeting yeah. you guys at conferences and stuff like mm -hmm. that, you just, you get like, it's, you're removing yourself from that box, right? And like, you're no, you're no longer in isolation. You find yeah. out uh -huh. what, like, you hear from people, like straight from the horse's mouth, what is hiring, what people want, what is the popular yep. sound. So you're able to provide it, ideally, because you're listening and you're, um, like you're just learning as much about what they want as you can. The, the one thing that I, I really want people to take away from, from what both Tim and I and Jay together do versus what we do individually is, is we're always trying to lift everybody. We really are. I mean, it's not like it's uh, we're trying to do it to, you know, have a, you know, have so people have high opinions of us or anything. It's mm -hmm. just that this is what this industry needs because we have seen corporate entities come in and just waylay the industry and try to, mm -hmm. you know, literally quote unquote take over the world. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's like it's like a real live version of Pinky in the Brain some days, mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily a good thing. 
So mm-hmm. we just want to make sure that, you know, we realize that we in Los Angeles have a really a glut of wonderful coaches and, and agents and casting people that we all call friends. And we want them to know people that may not have that opportunity elsewhere. And I think that has been one thing like between work at weekly workout and between my old friends in Dallas who have been starting to poke the bear of Los Angeles and providing them an air mattress in my studio <laughs> has, has been something I, I just want to make sure anyone knows that, you know, when they come in from out of town, they generally, if they know me at all, then they have a place to stay with me. And it's been great to see some of the projects that have actually been been shown to be going live this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, something that, you know, my one of my friends did, she just announced this week. And she, I remember a year ago when she was hanging out with us, my wife and I here, and staying in our second bedroom, which is the studio, and now all of a sudden, here's this thing that she was working on a year ago that's now seen the light of day. And I'm just sitting there just like shaking my head. And like, oh, it's how weird far how they this come. all have, I, <laughs> More like, oh, my gosh, how does this all come together? And it just makes us feel like a giant spider web that we're all interconnected in some way. Mm-hmm. And I just want to make sure that we, we do whatever we can to make this industry a better place and not, you know, not a worse one. Well, you guys are certainly putting a Herculean effort forth in that regard. I mean, honestly, well, one I, of us I, is. One <laughs> of us is for sure. Tim, Tim is doing that. Mm. You're all great, but but honestly, guys, like I feel like we're like you're definitely kindred spirits. I love like uh, just I'm so happy to hear you, and like you can hear the joy in your voice from recounting like people you've worked with like, succeed and excel oh, and yeah. It's yeah. amazing. He's tearing up on me now, <laughs> <laughs> big softy. Um, but I mean, honestly, I, I've, I've felt for a long time that the biggest tool we have in maintaining and hopefully improving the voiceover industry is education. And yes. mm-hmm. you guys are providing that in spades and are like you really are in, like you're really bettering your part of the voiceover world. So thank you both so much. Or thank, oh, thank all you. of you guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks for listening to this episode of the VO Meter. To follow along, visit us at www.vometer.com. VO Meter is powered by IPDTL.